survived. Me, barely. Yeah, I took a tumble. We're about to make some breakfast and then we're gonna get dressed and hit the road to the green sand beach. And then coffee and we just ordered a latte and cold brew and it's our first coffees in like a month and this is supposed to be like the best of the best so let's see <laughs> oh it's really good and i got mac nut milk like macadamia nut milk and it's really good show you our favorite hack in Hawaii is grocery store poke. I know it sounds kind of crazy but it is so good and this was literally total like eight bucks six dollars and then we got a side of rice for like a dollar I think it was like a dollar fifty yeah on our way to the southernmost point in the 50 states rocks here uh, she just took one a little bit at a bad angle and and just face planted straight down Taylor at least you have a smile on your face <laughs> it's kind of funny because I was we started running and I was like dang I'm feeling good I can run this whole thing 
And as soon as I said that in my mind, I think I like must have lost focus. I think now it's a vacation. survived. Me, barely. Tate, in full force. <laughs> Got some gnarly. Gnarly. Oh, that one's pretty bad. Yeah, I took a tumble. We were doing a run on the trail on the way back and most of it was sand and it was totally good. And then we got to a part with like a bunch of loose rocks and just one bad footing and went like flying head first. Luckily, I caught myself like on my wrist and like stopped the fall, but now my wrist hurts super bad. So I don't know. Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> but it was all right. It, just the bummer of that was that it happened at the very beginning of our way back and we still had like two and a half miles to hike. But we made it. Could have been a lot worse. So keeping, keeping positive outlook. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we have made it back into the car and we're on our way home to little Annie. <laughs> but we were gonna kind of like recap how we thought the Green Sand Beach was. Overall, I think it is an awesome thing to do. The hike is about two and a half miles each way. It takes about 45 minutes. If you run it, it would be much faster. I'd probably recommend you don't run because there's a lot of loose rocks that don't look loose, but they are. <laughs> but overall, it was so much fun. And I think like it, the, the trail itself is pretty doable um, for like many different like activity levels. The only part that gets like a little bit more treacherous is when you actually get to the beach, you have to like climb down this cliff. There is like a built-in ladder with steps for like a small portion of it. Um, but we did see like many different people, like kids, older people all doing it. The beach itself was super cool. We were kind of bummed that we didn't have enough time to get in the ocean. We kept saying how we felt like we were in Star Wars. Like the cliff itself was just, insane and it kind of comes out of the earth like at a crazy angle in, a, in like a weird way like kind of looks like a space shuttle or something yeah and so you can like actually opt to not do the walking and there's a bunch of people that drive pickup trucks that are like adapted for people to ride in them honestly i felt safer walking <laughs> which is kind of funny because i got hurt Overall, it was so much fun. It takes us about like an hour and 15 minutes to get there from Kona. I highly recommend stopping at the southernmost point. When you're on your way to the Green Sand Beach, you just like veer off at one part where it forks. And if you get a chance, go to the town. I'll put the name of it down below. And the bakery was so good. The malasadas, 